Hello everybody, Chris here, and in the last video we talked about how you could set up a contact form within uh, WordPress using ReCAPTCHA to prevent some bot spam. However, what we didn't touch on was how to actually get WordPress or your web server to be able to send mails out. And uh, there's a couple of different ways you can set this up, um, but probably the simplest way which we're going to do today is to use a WordPress plugin um, to enable uh, using an SMTP server like your Gmail uh, account. Gmail will have an SMTP server for sending outgoing mails. And this WordPress plugin will basically allow you to uh, tie into that service and uh, just have WordPress send out your mails through Gmail. Um, so if you go to add new, uh, you'll be able to find this plugin. I'm, I'm thinking of the name of it. I know it has SMTP in the name. We'll see it in a second. SMTP. Um, and I'm sure there's a few different plugins which kind of do the same thing, but um, really what you need is a plugin that allows you to just put in the SMTP email. And I believe it was Easy WordPress SMTP that I was actually using. So we'll go ahead and install that now. And yeah, so what you basically do is you put in all the information for the SMTP server, including your username and password for Gmail um, or whatever service you're using. It also works with Zoho Mail or pretty much any other email uh, service provider out there on the internet. And then once you have all the information put in, um, that account will be able to handle mail on behalf of your WordPress site. So for instance, whenever your contact form submits, it will actually be the Google uh, SMTP server that's sending the mail. So here we can go ahead and put in our email address. So I'll just use Tutorials at gmail.com. Uh, from text, that would be the name of the person sending. So, Chris, uh, I believe the SMTP host for Gmail is smtp.gmail.com, but we can actually go over to their support page on the subject and see right here. Okay, yes, that's exactly what it is the uh, fully qualified domain name, smtp.gmail.com. So, smtp.gmail.com. Uh, encryption, it should say over here, yeah, okay, so SSL on port 465, so SSL type of encryption using port 465, SMTP authentication, uh, leave that checked to yes, and then we just need the, um, the username and password of our Gmail account in this case, so just go ahead and type that in, paste it in, hit save changes and assuming you have all of your information correctly saved there uh, you should be good I'll just hit save to get rid of that error message just to make sure it's actually there and now we can go down here to testing and debug to actually test it so specify a email address I'll send it to my email that's actually sending the email test test send test mail and now the email should go out through the Google servers and arrive in my email box and bam, there you go. So now what should happen is whenever we're using the contact form, or whenever the users are using the contact form rather, and they actually submit it, the emails that we'll be sending out should come from the information we've provided here. So let's go ahead and test that really quick. Actually, uh, let's check the contact form and see where it's sending, because we actually want to have it sent to the email address which we're checking. So under contact form, you can set the to address, which is after they submit the form, where is it getting sent to? And we have the right email address in there, so that's good. And now we can go back to the contact form and test it out just to make sure everything's working totally fine. So we're acting as a user here who would be uh, basically using the form, submitting a request for help or whatever. So test, test. I'm not a robot. Got to use that reCAPTCHA as we added in before to prove we're not robots. So when we hit send, it should use the SMTP information. And just like back there, it's going to arrive in our email address. And we can tell because Thunderbird's already letting me know. Uh, but I'll go back to the inbox and we can see our contact form has arrived in our email. We didn't even have to play with the back end of the server, which is really nice. I love it when plugins do that for WordPress. So I hope this helped you out to get uh, email and contact forms working on your WordPress site. 
Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.